Hello everybody and welcome to or back to my channel House of C. My name is Cassidy and today I am going over how I take care of my bags and all of that good information. So for those of you that have a bag collection and you're wondering how you can keep your leathers from drying out, how you can keep your bags from being misshaped over time, the best environment to put them in, I'm going to go through all of that great information today. The first thing is first, make sure that you like, you subscribe, and you comment down below. Also make sure to go and follow me on all my socials at Cassidy period Carmody. And um, I'm on Instagram, I'm on LTK, and I'm on TikTok. So make sure to go and follow me there for more of that day-to-day -day in the life of uh, content. So I'll see you guys over there. All right, guys. Starting off, I will admit when I was first getting into handbag collections and whatnot, I wasn't very educated on how to take care of my bags. So I ended up sending a few of my bags to Cobbler Concierge at the beginning of this year. And CJ, who runs Cobbler Concierge, was so kind, so sweet, and just so educated. He really gave me the breakdown of how I should be caring for my bags. For one, if you live in a humid environment, um, I grew up in Iowa where it's very humid, that is definitely ideal for your leather bags. Because leather does dry out um, over time and you can notice it on the bag, I'll show you on my Chanel bag um, a little bit of where it is drying out. And I'll show you the product that I use to keep it nice and lubricated. <laughs> Nice and moist. There's no good way of putting that, guys. So, just, you know, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Uh, but yeah, let me grab my Chanel bag real quick. All right, guys. So here she is. Um, you can see, I think it was over here where she's just drying out a little bit. And what I do for my bags, and honestly, she could use a little more of this. I got Jim's Juice, is what they call it. It's Jim's Leather Conditioner. This I got from Cobbler Concierge. You can buy it from them online. So I, again, I'll put their Instagram handle right here for you if you are interested in buying some. Um, or you could just buy leather conditioner like off Amazon or whatever. But uh, when you get this, I believe you also get the applicator. It's a sponge. So let me just show you what I do. So I put a little bit on the applicator and then what I do is that in circular motions, I put it all over the leather. Especially on those areas here where I am seeing it dry out. And just circular motions. And it is crazy how much you can already see her coming back to life with just a little bit of leather conditioner. I mean, just like look at that difference. It just looks so much more rich and not dull, which I love. Um, I'm going to put a little more on here and we're going to finish her up. Super easy. And... For me, because I live in Denver, it's a very dry environment, so I definitely try to do this about, gosh, I'd say either, I'd say every two months. I mean, just looking at the leather, you can start to tell because it'll get very dull when it is getting dry. So, I will say it's a very, very potent smell, conditioner is, so be weary of that but I mean guys like look at how rich the color looks I mean conditioner just brings your bag back to life when it starts to dry out so I cannot recommend enough if you have leather bags you have to get yourself some of this leather conditioner Jim's juice um, from Cobbler Concierge, or like I've said before, um, you can get like a leather conditioner from anywhere, but I like the fact that they have this little sponge applicator. 
Uh, it makes it so easy to apply circular motions all over the bag. Uh, I mean, simple enough, and it really does a lot for your bag, as you just saw with my Chanel. All right, guys, so leather conditioner for your leather bags is like number one thing that you, you just have to do, especially, like I said, when you're in a dry environment. Next up, another thing is that my Chanel bag has the chains here. And over time, when they sit there, you'll start to see an indentation happening from the chains laying on the leather. So another thing that CJ suggested that has really helped, and I really feel like the indentations have come out over time, is a little pillow for your straps. So how I do this, I just take my straps, I put the pillowy side down, and then the Velcro side up and just see how it just gives a little cushion to prevent the chains from indenting the soft leather, especially because this girl is old. She is, I think, 94. So that's the year I was born. She's old. She's 30 years old. Uh, for a handbag, that's very impressive, I would say. Uh, but when they are older like this, you've got to take very, very good care of them and be very diligent about it. So I really appreciate that he um, suggested getting a pillow because it's really helped with her condition and keeping her in great, great shape. So if you have bags with heavy hardware or chains, I suggest looking into getting pillows for the hardware so it doesn't damage your bag over time. All right, guys, I've got my Birkin here because next up, another great way to make sure that you are taking great, great care of your bags is that you get to do an organizer. I know you're probably like taking care of your bag and organizer. It helps so much, especially with the shape of my Birkin. It keeps her from falling in on herself and getting these crazy creases that I've seen before. So it helps give the bag structure and keeps the leather, keeps the material from um, collapsing in and showing like that crease line. So I actually got this um, organizer off Amazon. So I know that there are some like bougie organizer companies. I think it's like 7RP is one. Um, there's another one that I can't think of off the top of my head, but there are some like very high end organizers out there. Um, and they will cost you a pretty penny. This I think was under $50. And like I said, honestly, I would look on Amazon and think that you can get organizers for a very good price. And this one also has a zipper section right here. So it keeps everything secure because or else it would just be rolling around in this big bag. Um, but like I said, you'll see that this just not only organizes, but it keeps the structure of the bag and the integrity very, very well. So prevents from extra creasing over time. That is a very, very easy way to just maintain your bags. I highly suggest looking into organizers to keep them propped up, keep them from collapsing in on themselves and keeping from creasing. So easy enough. All right, guys, another way to keep great care of your bags. And I have been meaning to invest in this all myself, but I just haven't gotten there yet. It just isn't something that I have at the forefront of my mind. It would be getting pillows for the inside of your bag. So I will put some pictures up here, um, but I highly suggest getting pillows to stuff inside your bags. What I do for my bags is that I take the dust bag so I don't lose them and I shove them in the bag to just keep their structure and their shape as well. I mean, the organizer does pretty much the same thing, but the pillow really fills out the whole shape of the bag. So you for sure will not have any crazy creasing or collapsing of the material in on itself. So that to me is another very easy one. Um, or even just like <laughs> going real old school, like shoving it with like newspaper or whatever. Uh, like I said, I just take my, um, uh, my dust bags and just shove them in there to fill it out. And that way I also don't lose the dust bags. Um, but that's just my very cheap way of doing it. But I can't suggest enough that filling your bag with a pillow or 
some kind of thing to keep the structure on the inside uh, is a very, very important. And I think that it's fairly cost, uh, it's fairly economical. Like it won't cost you too much, I don't think. Again, you can find various ranges of prices for those pillows to put inside of your purse. All right, and then another thing um, that I would suggest is that you keep your bags in a cool area that does not get sun. Sun will discolor your bags. So in here during the day when, um, or if whenever I'm not at home, I shut all of my blinds, I pull my curtains, I keep it very dark in here so it keeps my bags from discoloring from the sun because the sun will discolor your bags. I promise you that over time, it may not happen immediately, but over time, it will affect the color and integrity of your bag. So um, I would just keep your bags in a cool, dark place, again, where they're not going to be getting that sun exposure. Just like our skin, it's important to stay out of the sun. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, those are really, I would say, what was that five tips? I said uh, leather conditioner, organizer, pillows, um, keep your bag out of the sun, uh, protect your hardware from the leather. So yeah, I'd say that those are five great tips, uh, for maintaining your bags, making sure to keep their integrity in place. Uh, in that way they will last you for a very, very long time. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. As a reminder, I have my giveaway again, guys. You got to comment down below what it is that you'd like a small other good from an ultra luxury brand. Do you want a card holder, a keychain, a, a twilly, a scarf? Like what are you guys interested in? Um, but again, we have to get to a thousand subs by the end of this year, December 31st. We're getting very, very close to the end of this year and we're not quite close to a thousand. We're not even halfway there. Well, like I said in my last video, I'm very hopeful that we can at least get to 500 by the end of this month, which we've got literally one more week. So I am very optimistic that we can get there, guys. Uh, but that is my shameless plug. I will leave another video for you guys somewhere over here and make sure to subscribe somewhere over here. And we'll see you guys all on the next one. Bye, guys.